Hey everybody and welcome to another video from the Electronic Armory. In this video we're going to be reviewing the brand new Raspberry Pi Zero W. If you've heard of the Raspberry Pi Zero, this version adds Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to the $5 US version. For the price of only $10 you get that added Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capability and in that tiny package you get a tiny computer with almost everything you need to create your own projects such as a home monitoring system with cameras to tying into your home's electrical system to control lights, doors, TVs, or other electronics. You can see how small the Pi Zero W is. It has a 1 gigahertz single core processor versus the quad core 1.2 gigahertz processor of the bigger Raspberry Pi. It has only 512 megabytes of RAM, whereas the bigger guy has a gigabyte. However, the 512 megabytes of RAM should be more than what you need for a single function purpose, such as connecting to a breakout board or connecting to something that you need for basic image processing or numbers crunching. If you need something better and bigger than that, I do recommend the big brother, the Raspberry Pi 3. You can see it has a lot more connectivity and is going to be a lot more powerful. So the Pi Zero W has a micro SD slot that you can put a micro SD card in, as well as a micro HDMI port. And you can hook this up to any monitor using an adapter, such as this mini HDMI port to regular HDMI port. The next thing we have here is these two USB slots. And the USB slots are going to be, one is going to be for power and peripherals, and so you might want to plug in a keyboard or a mouse or even plug into a USB hub that is powered so that you can have a little bit more um, different peripherals on this. The next thing it has is the usual 40 pin header. So you can connect it to various things such as a, a breakout board or a breadboard or some other type of electronics. And so this guy is only $10. If you just want to pay $10, this is what you get right out of the box. It's pretty simple. Just connect a USB, uh, micro USB power, such as this one, right up to the power cable and into either a computer to drive a 1 amp power or plug it into a wall adapter that has USB, of course. But what I recommend is getting a case. This is the official Raspberry Pi case. And so as you can see, it has a slot for the input output pins that allows us to have access to that from the bottom and as well as the access to the different ports. So we have power here, the peripherals and the mini HDMI. We also have on the other side, a slot for the camera connector for the ribbon. If you wanted to run a camera on the outside, we'll talk about that again in a second, but this just pops in here with these little ports and you can see that now those ports line up and we have access to those ports as well as the pins, as I mentioned, all of the pins. So this is a great little case for only $5 extra. And so these two components will be about $15 plus shipping. And then with this, you also get these three different tops to it. And so if you want access to the pins from the top, you can add this case. You have access to the top and of course on the bottom, or we have just a case that allows us to close this completely. And so you'd plug in just the power. And of course it, you can connect to this guy over your desktop computer, laptop, wherever via Wi-Fi. And then my favorite top to this is a camera port. So this actually has a hole for the camera. And if we flip this over, uh, this is one that I have purchased before, but this, uh, this guy will cost you about $30 and is a camera for the Raspberry Pi. And again, we have a case that is compatible with this that we can simply just plug into this. So we plug it in here, just snap in, and you can see that it shows up on the other side. And when using the mini ribbon cable that we have, we can then plug that into the end here and then snap this on here and now we have a little case that we can either mount up onto the wall and plug in. And now we have a home monitoring system or any kind of camera that you can set up either on its end or again, hang it up on a wall. All right, so the power consumption for these are also really, really low. Uh, this guy will run you about 800 milliamps, 
whereas this guy will only run you about 180. If you want something even lower than 180 milliamps, you can go with the Raspberry Pi Zero without the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi because that's only gonna run you 160 milliamps. So if you're really low on power, so you wanna have extended periods, set this up in the woods to capture animals, uh, because with the camera, you can actually have it set off and alert you when there's movement. And so of course you can snap photos and then uh, save those to the SD, the micro SD card that we have here. So this is a really great system. I recommend that if you're going to start out with the Raspberry Pi, this would probably be the cheapest entry point and should handle most of your applications that you're going to be building with this thing. Now on this channel, the Electronic Armory, we're not just about mobile and web development, we're also about Raspberry Pi. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and a like, and be sure to visit us at electronicarmory.com. In future videos, we're going to take these Raspberry Pis, connect them to a web server, and again, we already have a series on a web development backend and frontend component, and so we're going to use that to connect to that web server, and then we're going to push that data out to a mobile app that we'll also be developing. So if you want to see that, leave a comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, Make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you in future videos. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.